Let's talk a little bit about what, of course, everybody wants to talk about cash, capital. How am I going to fund this thing? The startup of a restaurant has to have pursuit capital to be able to afford to create everything I'm going to have you create. And most people haven't heard of the term pursuit capital. Well, what pursuit capital is, is that first pile of cash you need to get you from the idea that's on a napkin to the time when you're ready to go chase the real capital. Well, so you need to create your business plan. You need to create your logo. You need to create your financials, your budgets. You need to set up your entity. You need to create the look and feel of the building, the look and feel of the menu. The list goes on. And pursuit capital is the amount of money it takes to do that. Roughly, low side's going to be about $20,000. High side's going to be about fifty. dollars You're going to have to come up with twenty dollars to $50,000 of your own money if you expect to be in the restaurant business. Now, how do you go about getting that? Because a lot of people think, well, I don't have that kind of money. Okay, but... People get that from a wide variety of sources. They get it from second mortgages on homes. They get it from friends and family, personal loan. They get it from a person that I would call a prize staker. Back in the days, we used to have somebody prize stake us with, hey, I got an idea. Can you loan me or invest in the prize stake of my idea? And we'll see where it goes. Some people get it from credit cards. They get it from retirement accounts. They pull change out from under their couch. Don't know what to tell you. But ultimately, there's a wide variety of ways to get pursuit capital. But without pursuit capital, this is never going to work. Some people go and get a loan from the bank. If you have good enough credit, you can do that. Or if you have assets that, make, that allow you to do that. Some people continue to work their job, which is perfectly fine, while they're chasing the dream of starting the restaurant. And they use their job to fund the pursuit of the restaurant. It's twenty to fifty thousand dollars. And it really comes down to how much of a do it yourselfer you are. If you're a big time do it yourselfer, that number is going to be closer to twenty thousand. If you're not, you're going to be closer to fifty. But you're going to have to have an accountant to do your spreadsheets of your budgets. You're going to have to pay that person. You're going to have to have a lawyer to set up the entity unless you decide to do it yourself. It's not that difficult to do yourself, but a lot of people don't want to go through that. You're going to have to have uh, some outside advice as it pertains to whether it be marketing. Some people hire restaurant consultants to help them with menus. They hire chefs, what have you. Um, but you're also going to need cash to go chase cash. Once you get your business plan done, you need to have money to go chase money because chances are pretty good you're going to have to stay in a hotel. You're going to have to travel. You're not going to get all this money right, right at, at home. It's, you have to spread out to get it. And therefore, you need money to go chase money. So the number is twenty to 50000 That's what pursuit capital is. Traditionally, when people call our office, I try to focus them on that. Don't, don't look at the elephant in the room and figure out how to swallow the elephant. Take a small bite at a time. Right now, it's about pursuit capital. And then it comes down to what am I doing with that capital? Well, one thing would be create the concept. So you got to create the menu. You got to create the name, the logo. When it comes time to go chase funding, not pursuit capital, but funding for the business, people think in pictures. Your business plan is going to be a lot of text but you're also going to have a lot of pictures through there. You're going to have a lot of graphs. You're going to have a lot of the logo look, the color, the feel, the conceptual designs of the interior of the building, the conceptual designs of the exterior of the building, what the staff will look like, what uniforms they will wear, what the logo will look like on that uniform, what your marketing campaigns will be. Billboard, this is the look of my billboard. This is the look of the print ad campaign.